This is a review of the SunnyTech Hot Air Sterling Engine. It's a motor model for education, a desktop piece or conversation piece, or something that you might have uh, in a curio cabinet. It's really a nice, attractive engine, and it's fully functional. It even includes a belt-driven generator to light up an LED. This device is nicely designed. It's made of aluminum, and it's also made of steel. It has a metal base. And overall, it weighs about 19.33 ounces. The Sterling engine is an external combustion engine where you burn a fuel with this wick and this bottle full of fuel. It heats this chamber here. This is the hot expansion chamber. The hot air inside of this expands, pushes the cylinder back, and as it does, it pulls back this one, which sucks in cold air. As the cylinder goes back, you can see this move forward. It injects cold air into the cylinder to be heated to start the next cycle. This thing will really get up to speed and run about 1,300 to 1,500 RPM. This is a great gift for a school, a science lab, for someone's desk, for someone's bookshelf as a, as a working sample. It's very nicely designed. It's good for any mechanical geek who's a friend or a family member. Sit it on top of your desk at work or at home. It makes a great conversation piece. Along with the device as you see here, it comes assembled like this. You'll actually receive an extra LED which plugs in to these small two pins here. There's a small socket here that the pins plug in. Here's a cap for the bottle that the wick goes through. You want to fill this with a high quality fuel. If you're done using it, you can take out the wick and it'll air dry, but you can plug the cork in and save the fuel. And in addition, you have a separate glass chamber here. If you happen to break this or it cracks from heat or being dropped, then you can take this and replace this cylinder and put it back into working order. When you use something like this, you want to use a very efficient fuel. This is 95% denatured alcohol. If you try to use 60 or 70% alcohol, it contains too much water and it will tend to burn a little cooler. And in addition to that, it will smoke and have a, a colored flame that some soot might get on this. You don't want that. This 95% uh, denatured alcohol is a very clean burning fuel. It virtually has no soot, no smoke, and it burns hotter to make the engine run faster. When you get ready to use this, you want to insert the wick very carefully into this piece here and barely have it extended above the top. And you want to fill this reservoir about 60 to 70% full of alcohol. As soon as you pour the alcohol in there and put the top on, the alcohol will come up the wick. You can light it, and it'll burn very clear flame. It's, it's almost invisible, extremely hot, so be careful. In a few minutes, I'm going to light this flame. This, that will heat the air in here. As it does, you want to spin the flywheel, and if it's hot enough, the engine will start to run. When you spin the flywheel, the hot air compression will push it back, and when it comes back, this piston here will inject cool air, which is now heated, and continues the cycle. These two shafts here drive the pistons and help also move the flywheel. There's a rubber belt that goes down to this generator, which will generate electricity, up to this LED. Here we go, I'm going to light it up. And you can see you have a very clear flame there. It's almost invisible. You want to wait about 30 to 50 seconds until that air inside there gets hot enough so that when you spin the flywheel, the engine will continue to run. Now I'm going to try to start this. And you can see it immediately came on. And you can see the LED light up and flashing, and it's generating electricity. It's an amazing little device. It shows how Ingenuity uses simple gas like air to create motion, to create energy, and do work. This was developed in 1815 by Robert Sterling, who was a London pastor, and so it was named after him. This is what is called a dual cylinder engine with a hot expansion chamber and a cooling chamber. This external engine is an amazing uh, toy or a desk conversation model. As I mentioned, the base is aluminum. You can see it's slightly moving there from vibration. I've got it sitting on a a slick piece of paper so you want to make sure it doesn't walk on you and you want to make sure that this bottle doesn't vibrate off the end. This is a nicely designed and machined device. It's beautiful in its construction. 
This is what is called an alpha design of the engine, where it can be used to create a, uh, the engine motion using the dual pistons. This is more efficient than a steam engine, and they had, they had high expectations for it, but it just never matured into the same quality of device. When you want to stop this thing, you just simply take this, blow out the flame, and the engine will continue to run for some minutes, a minute or so, because there's still hot air inside of here, and until it cools down it works fine. This thing actually continued to run for over a minute and a half. I want to caution you, if you're demonstrating this for people or children, make sure they understand that that's an open flame, the flame's almost invisible, it will burn you, and the glass here will get very, very hot, so don't let them touch it. Remember that this is full of alcohol. Don't let this walk off a table or don't let the alcohol bottle come off the edge and fall and spill the alcohol because it is a flame and it could start a fire. I'm now going to start this and then I'm going to turn the lights off so you can see what it looks like in the dark. Here you can see it in the dark. You can see the LED lighting and blinking as it comes up to speed. Now it's at full energy. And you can also see the flame that's invisible in normal light, but now in the dark you can see it. It's a very impressive piece of equipment. And this thing run is so interesting and children will become so fascinated with it that they're just going to stare at it and they're going to love it. I rated this as a five-star item. I was impressed with the functionality and the quality of the product. I'd like you to know that I was supplied a sample for testing evaluation. A review was not promised to the supplier in exchange for the sample, but I stated that if I did a review, it would be fair and honest.